All right, guys, this is Infinity joined by Blink on commentary. We have Austin versus Sparking Zero, Sparking representative Zero. from uh, College Station that knocked me into loser's bracket. Yeah, it happens. Hey, I'm not going to John about it. I mean, if you want to hear what happens, talk to me later or look up our video on YouTube. Uh, these will be available soon. Soon, yes. Soon is a trademark phrase. Um, Sparking Zero playing Ike, Austin playing his standard NES game. Uh, Austin is known for his NES. Uh, for those of you who don't know, and I try to repeat this every time he's on stream, uh, Austin almost, he was like one move away from beating uh, Mewtwo King in tournament when they played. Austin is a very, very, very good player. And I'm interested to see how this is going to go because around here we don't have a whole lot of Ike experience anymore. We used to have a little bit of Ike. A little bit. I'm sorry. I dropped it. I dropped them. Well, I still play them every now and then, but now you yeah. guys get Lucario experience. I have played all of five games against your Ike. Like in the history of your Ike. Dang. Yeah. We That's what I'm saying, play, man. We should I mean, probably play more. <laughs> right? <laughs> we should play a lot we more. We never see each other in bracket, though. That's the thing. That's true. So I, think, we, I don't even know who I have to play in losers. Right? Hang on, guys. Uh, take over for a minute, Steve. Okay. All right. So uh, game one, um, we're looking to, I believe, we're going to be going to, I want to see Smashville. I really like Smashville against Ness just because of the platform. The platform works Miracles with Ike. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Oh, oh this is a mistake. This is a big Bad mistake. Move. Bad move by Spark, but let, let's see if he can make it work. I mean, I, he, he got me here, and he got me here pretty solid. Let's see what he does. But that PK fire and the follow ups are just too yeah. strong on the stage. Look at that! Yeah, he, he tried to crouch cancel. Good forward throw. Ooh, there he goes. Attack. There he goes. Also with the tech chase. Austin's now, so strong with those tech chases on the stage. It's, no, this is a mistake. It's PK great. Thunder. Ooh, good nares from Spark. Well, <clears throat> a, a little, Back. I'm, I'm nope. pretty familiar with this matchup. In this matchup, um, I, well, especially playing against Austin, he should bait um, Austin to jump a lot and be punching those with jumping nares and forward nares, like carefully spacing to get the sour spots. Okay. Kind of hit him with the tipper, and it'll just completely halt off Austin's aerial approaches. Yeah, Ike's range of influence is huge between his side B and his like forward air. Yeah. And his neutral air isn't too shabby either. It goes pretty good distance out in front of him. And that quick forward tilt like that is pretty strong. It's not going to kill anybody. Like in Brawl, it would have killed somebody, but in Brawl, that move is like broadcasted on CNN before it gets out. <laughs> yeah, I, I look forward to it. If, if you can catch one at a, at a high percent, the, the sweet spot, yep. very strong. Yep. It's ridiculous. Not to mention Ike's up air being a two hit move compared to Brawl. There we go. Four throw forward air. Good. Uh, sparking, nice zero. sparking Zero. Yep. Sparking Zero. Evening up the stocks. About 100% behind and some change. And Austin looking to get a PK Fire here. If he can connect the PK Fire, it's going to... Or just down tilt. And down that works too. Down tilt bear. Down, oh, man. Ness's down tilt... Whoa. Little 11% chain grab there. Uh, okay. Ness's down tilt, when it comes to like combating crouch canceling, is on par almost with... Peach is down smash. I, I like 100%. Yeah, because it's so fast and it does have like little to no knockback. It just keeps you there in place and it doesn't pop you out. Oh, wow, that down air though. Austin with the correct DI. Spark oh, should, that. With the SC. Spark should be, um, instead of going for that forward throw forward air all the time, another kill option is if he catches someone DIing in, down throw back air is a guaranteed kill combo as well, Fry. Yep. Oh. oh. Um. So we were talking about that down tilt earlier. Oh, oh Austin going for another downer. Not able to get it. Able to recover over him, though. Uh, Ness's down tilt doesn't push you out at all. It doesn't bring you in either. Ooh, good recovery from Spark. Keeps Ooh. you in the, in the same position. That should be it, yeah. So, yeah, uh, it, it pops you up instead of out or back or anything like that. So Ness's down tilt actually just keeps you in place. Yeah. And it puts you right where he wants you because if you try and crouch cancel it, it's actually going to pop you up after a little bit, after you just eat a million percent. Because it does like 5 or 6% for every hit, every single hit. Do you want to know the interesting about it? This is down to it also hits you from the back. Yes, it like does hit behind, behind him. him. It has to, like that, it's like that far where it catches, it just hits you from the back. And it's, yeah. It's ridiculous. It's got a, it's got a hitbox on his butt. He's got the booty box. Yes, he does. He does. So, uh, ooh, switching. I didn't even know. Oh wait, yeah, I did know I had a Squirtle. Yeah, and Spark. I believe Sparky actually mains. Squirtle above Ike? Although I'm, I'm not 100% too sure. I think he, he dual mains them. Um. Okay. Um, I can actually see... Ooh. 
I can actually see how this would work out for Squirtle on this stage, but Austin has a bit of Squirtle experience and understands the matchup a little bit because of what. And so I don't think that this is going to work out for Spark. I really I have to be honest. He's a great player, but stuff like that, that almost killed him. And he wasn't even at 100 when it connected. Another up, uh, another up air will kill him at this percent, and a back air will probably do it as well. Up air, that's it right there. He DI'd it in. You have to DI Ness's down throw away from him, yeah, not always. into him. Because if you DI it into him, again, we've got a uh, we've got another Yep. We've got another analog to uh, Peach there. His down throw makes you pop in similar directions to Peach. With Peach, if you don't DI it or if you hold into Peach, it will um no, excuse me, if you DI away from Peach, or if you DI nowhere, it pops you up directly above her, and she can re-grab a lot of the okay. times. Whereas if you DI it into Peach, it will actually send you behind her, and her only follow-up realistically is a dash attack. Right. And so with uh, Ness, great back air there. A uh, solid lead by Austin. This is not turning out well for Sparking Zero. And not, not sure if this was the idea of counterpick. Chrissy, I would have opted to stay with Ike, and I would have took him to Yoshi Story Melee. Yeah, yeah. Great stage try. Either Yoshi. Oh, oh. Ooh. Although that stage is pretty solid for Ness, it's probably much better for Ike. Good grab from Zero. Not able to get a kill. That forward air. That was the sweet spot on the forward air. That move doesn't it hit. It hits like a Baka Kittens. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> get, get the down the throw. Grab. Ooh, down throw does not quite do it. Doesn't quite kill. Also, with, the, with good DI on that. That one. Gets it again. All right. Austin did, didn't really. <laughs> Yeah, the best way. Did he just put on the shades? I think he just. Yeah, he did. I just showed him break. But, um. More shades. Yeah, actually, uh, with Squirtle, the correct direction to DI his down throw is nowhere. Because it puts you in the exact trajectory you need to go. Uh, really? so if you're in the center of the stage, you actually just don't DI. It puts you in the corner. So, and it's, so it's if like... you. If you DI it in, it will pop you up off of the top. If you DI it down, it will pop you off of the side. Wow. So, so the, you just kind of DI, you let it go. <laughs> Okay. There is a DI mix up with forward throw though. It we have Wet jumping in and letting us know what's going on. A former Squirtle made himself. It kind of reminds me of um, Charizard with his seismic toss grab. He just healed off of the bubbles. What? Yeah, I thought those were physical. I, Billy, fix it. I guess they are physical. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, Wet saying he did fix it. He switched to Sheik. <laughs> those are physical. Yep. Those are the needles. Oh yeah, order from Jack in the Box. Okay, flash. Oh, gets he also go for it. Do you think he's gonna go for the Phoenix Slash? I think he's gonna go for it. He gets him off the ledge. Whoa, great up smash from Sparky. Yeah. Sergio. I have four guys on my bed. Take that how you will. That will end the game. Sparking Zero losing out a JV3 stock from Austin. Austin showing the dominance of the DFW Metroplex. Austin is a very, very powerful player. Uh, unfortunately, Austin will not be attending SKTAR, so it's a little...